Hello people of the net, what's going on? I am the Matty Boy 2 welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm bringing this out as quickly as I can, I'm not sure how many of you will know, but EA Sweden actually have gone ahead and leaked the BPL team of the season two days early. I presume the BPL is going to be the next one anyway. It looks absolutely insane. So in this video I'm going to be giving you a rundown of who is in it and some of the most OP cars that there will be. Starting off, in net, he's been in it for the last three or four years in a row, I think, David De Gea. I didn't think he'd get in, to be honest. He's a great keeper, the best in the world, in my opinion. I think he's better than Neuer now. Uh, prepare all the triggered buying fans in the comment section. But for his standard, he's been in bad form this season. So, a bit of a controversial one. Uh, I think there were some keepers who probably did deserve to be in there more. And that's coming from a United fan. And De Gea is probably my favourite player. He saved us God knows how many times recently. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Kyle Walker at right back. Absolutely insane card. 89 rated. 96 pace is unreal. You you can leave him on basic and he'll be insane with that pace. 88 defending. For a fullback, that's brilliant. 90 physical. He is going to be so, so hench. 85 dribbling, 77 shooting, 91 passing. So almost 80 in every stat. At least 90 in three stats. With a basic chem style, he is going to be easily the best right back in the game. The first centre back is Cesar Aspilicueta. Um, I'm so happy this guy's at centre back. He's going to be so expensive, but he's going to be one of the best centre backs in the game. 86 pace. He's going to be able to keep up with the likes of Team of the Year and Alan, Team of the Year Messi if you put a shadow card on him. 87 dribbling. He's going to feel so nimble on the ball. 89 passing, you're going to be able to pass around the back with him. 94 defending and 91 physical. So the defensive side isn't weak either. With those medium, medium work rates as well, he isn't going to be bombing up like Bailly. He is going to be insane. Next centre back, we have Vertonghen. An unreal card. Spurs this season have been really good. I mean, for the last couple of seasons, for their standards, they've been insane. Um, but Vertonghen's helped them out so much. Thoroughly deserves this card. Um, obviously he's been in the, uh, the most consistent, but he, uh, he, he's just incredible. And then obviously we have N'Golo Kante, unreal card, nearly nine, is, is the same card as his uh, player of the year, like, uh, Canock Arts, and yes, that is how you pronounce it, I have done my research. Um, everything above 90 apart from shooting, which is 85, an unreal card for an unreal player. Now, this is the card I'm most hyped about, believe it or not. We have a left wing back, Marcus Alonso. 88 pace, 92 dribbling, 88 shooting, 87 defending, 91 passing, 92 physical. Just take a minute to take all that in. That is an unbelievable card. At least 87 in every stat. He, I, I didn't think he'd do that well coming into um, Chelsea this season. I'm not going to lie. But he has been tearing the league up and he's been so good. And that card really does, really does show that. We have uh, Dele Alli then. 75 defending is his lowest start. Really, really well-rounded card. High medium work rates. He'll be a good cam, good centre mid, maybe even CDM. Who knows? Just a really, really good card. And now Sadio Mane. We have 99 pace yet again. 93 shooting, 96 dribbling, 92 passing and 91 physical. On 7 chemist striker, he will be a beast. Eden Hazard, then 98 rated. He's been back this season on fire like he was uh, two seasons ago. Really, really good card. 98 pace, 99 dribbling are his two highest stats. Really, really good. We then have Lukaku and Kane, the two uh, top scorers this season. Uh, Lukaku 92 pace, Kane 85. Kane is getting really, really usable now. His normal card wasn't, but I think from that player of the month card onwards, he has definitely been usable. 94 dribbling and 95 dribbling respectively. I'm really, really good. 99 and 98 shooting. 97 and 96 physical. These cards are so similar, and if you can somehow get them up front together, you're gonna you're sorted. And I'm just gonna run through the bench quickly. Uh, this video has been pretty long so far, I think. Um, I only wanted it to be a quick one, but we've got some insane cards on the bench and reserves. 
Uh, and I'm happy to see three more United players in there, even though we probably don't deserve it. Hugo Lloris. Everyone expected him to get in there. Really well deserved. David Luiz, centre-back. 92 rated. Really well-rounded card. At least 80 in every stat. Toby Alderweireld uh, joining his purpelling partner, Jan Vertonghen. Really, really good card. Kevin De Bruyne, centre-mid. 95 rated. Uh, everything... Uh, pretty much above 90. He's got 84 pace, which can be improved, and 55 defending, but you don't want him for his defending. 93 Ericsson as a cam. Decent pace, really good dribbling, really good shooting, insane passing, and decent enough physical. Alexis Sanchez as a striker. I'm so glad he's not a winger. It's not like I'm going to be able to afford him, but a really, really good card. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The legend that is. 82 pace. He's... With a Hunter card, he's going to be insane. His pace is going to be there, finally. Antonio Valencia, 89 rated. The same as Kyle Walker. I personally think he's better than Walker at right back. I know Man United fanboy, but I do have to agree with that. I think Walker's overrated, to be honest. I was happy to see him getting there because he has had an insane season. And he's got a really, really good card. Michael Keane, then. United did let him go. I was really sad to see him go. I've been watching him since about 2011, I think, along with Paul Pogba back when he was there. That's right. I'm one of the true Pogba Pogba boys. Uh, 77 pace, 93 defending, and 91 physical. A really good card, and he has had a brilliant season. And a Herrera, 90 rated centre mid. Such a well-rounded card with the high, high work rates as well. This guy could be the perfect centre mid. Adam Lallana... I was quite surprised to see him over Coutinho, to be honest. Um, But I'm not complaining. Everything above 70. If you put a shadow on there, he will be a really, really good centre mid. And then the final player is Diego Costa. 94 rated. 85 pace. Could well be his last season in the Prem if he does head to China. And he's managed to get himself a blue card. So, there is the team, guys. It is really, really insane. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you let me know what you think of the team in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you want to see a huge pack opening for this team this season. If we can smash 25 likes within two days, by the time the BPL team this season is out on this video, I will bring that for you. Please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. The sub count's been going up massively recently, and I can't thank you guys enough. So, once again, thank you all for your insane support, and... I love you guys. You are all absolute legends.